stood on the ramp leading up to the main entrance for ages, not quite daring to go inside. Clear White Light is the story of Ali, who's a student mental health nurse, who's waiting to do her first night shift at St Nick's Hospital in Gosforth. And she's quite nervous. She steps inside and things start to go a bit strange as soon as the night shift begins. Now Charlie has a personality disorder, gets into unhealthy thinking patterns and functioning. He's been severely self-harming since last summer. So whilst it's a, a, it has come to some serious issues in it, it's also very funny. Uh, it has lots of music in it, of course. It's got all the, lots of songs from Alan Hull and, uh, and they're played live. So it's somewhere between a play and a gig. It was Alan Hull's spell working as a psychiatric nurse at St Nick's in the late 60s, which inspired the play. And many of the Lindisfarne classics he wrote during this time are being used to tell this modern Gothic tale with a twist. For me, the songs are timeless. So to find a new way of using those songs again in a really exciting, original way is fantastic for me. I'm loving every second of it. We decided that we needed to be there playing these songs because they had to be done right. And, and I think the songs have, have come out really well and they complement the, the dialogue in the play. And the songs have taken a new slant because they're sung by a woman. And they've never been sung by a woman before. Self-confessed Lindisfarne fanatic Charlie Hardwick has returned to the theatre where her career started. You get to belt out some real classic hits, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Songs that I watched Lindisfarne do. I used to go to their Christmas concerts when I was 12, 13, 14, 15. Celebrating the, the work of the North and people of the North and being in the North and being from the North. But the poetry of his lyrics and the and the arrangements are just stunning. I've lived with them all of my life. What do you think Alan would have made of the show? I think he would have been very happy. He, he's probably, wherever he is, a bit miffed that he's not in it. <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> There's rarely a day goes by I don't think about Alan. He was one of my best friends and I spent some of the most incredible parts of my life with him, um, using his songs to communicate all over the world. And it's fantastic to find a new way of doing it. And, and I think he would have loved it. Here in your arms. Clear White Light opens tonight and runs until the 10th of November. Sharona Saga, BBC Look North, live theatre in Newcastle.